All right, shout out Wong Akim. And first and foremost, we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. We want to give double honor to the apostles of the great millstone rule well. And we also want to say peace and blessings, salutations to the hopefully elect. You got it, brother. Kind, kind. Today we have a lesson going to the topic of We Are the Nephilim. Okay? Go ahead. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 6, verse 1. You got the words, right? And it came to pass. When men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and the daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair. Now the sons of God in that scripture are talking about the Israelites. And this is before they were called Israelites. Back during this time, we were just known as the sons of God. Okay? Because the Lord created th three classifications of men. The sons of God, which would be the Israelites today, the sons of men or the children of men, which are the other nations, the heathens, and the sons of the wicked, which are these Edomites, so-called white people. Okay? So the sons of God in that scripture is talking about the Israelites. Even though it's before Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and, and the uh, 12 patriarchs, even though it's before that time, there's nothing new under the sun. The same people that are on the planet Earth today were back during that time uh, uh, right here in the scriptures. That's right. Okay? Go ahead. And it says, <clears throat> verse 2, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. Now, who are the daughters of men? The women of the other nations. Okay? So just like today, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indian men, you like foreign women. Uh, As a matter of fact, that's the new thing now. Uh, With Jake, Jake speaks about getting foreign women. Okay? <clears throat> they'll, they'll speak about having a Moabite, so-called Chinese woman, having an Ammonite, so-called Japanese woman, etc. A so-called Ethiopian woman, a Kushite, an Arabian woman, an Ishmaelite, an East Indian woman, an Elamite, and the list goes on and on. Okay? So, that's not new. That's something that we did in the ancient world. Okay? Go ahead, I. And they took them wives of all which they choose. And it said, uh, and the Lord said, My spirit it shall not always scribe with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be in 120 years. Right, which you know, scholars debate when it comes to that part right there, all right, whether that was talking about 120, <clears throat> 120 years before the flood would come, or 120 years that man would live. All right, but you know, I'll stick with what the elder apostle Hart says, you know, talking about 120 years before the flood came. Okay, um, go ahead. And it said there were giants in the earth in those days. And this is the key point right here. Those Nephilim, you're gonna to come to find out. That's talking about us. Read that again. Verse four. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of the Most High came in unto the daughters of men. Right, so when the Israelite men had sex with these women of the other nations, go ahead, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men. So they bare sons unto them, and they became mighty men. Go ahead. The same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. Men of renown, meaning they had a great name. Those were great men. All right, and the elder has a definition for the word giants. All right, uh, blue letter Bible, Napayal, or Napayal. Napayal, which that's where you get the term Nephilim. But, but uh, in the Hebrew, it's Napayal. Go ahead. All right, it says, um, some have, I'm just going to skip to the point. Some have compared, which render great, large, and body, but this is incorrect. So to actually, um, let, me, let me just start from the top. Okay. So all the ancient versions, the giant in the sky, the constellation, the etymology of this word is uncertain. Some have compared the word uh, great, large, and body, but this is incorrect. For it means excellent, noble, skillful. So they know it's not talking about literal giants. Woo! It's talking about great men. And you looking at them. And you brothers, that's you too. You are those great men. Bible Shai, you to read it again? All right. Some have compared this word in Arabic to render great, large, and body, but this is incorrect, mm -hmm. for it means excellent, 
Noble, skillful, excellent, noble, skillful, skillful. The Israelites, are, we, are not we the best uh, people on planet Earth? Are not we the salt of the Earth? Are, are not Jake talented? And hey, what, what do they say about Jake when he get down? Well, that boy got skills. He got skills. That's it. <laughs> you know, I prefer with the Hebrew interpreters and aqua falling on attacking soul that is of intransitive significance. Signification, uh, I guess it's the point. Those who used to interpret the passage in Genesis of the fall, the angels were accustomed to render fowlers, rebel, rebels, apostates. What's it, what's it, uh, uh, fowlers or, or rebels. Right. You know, because you're going to come to find out we were going off. Okay? Just like you have Israelites today that, that, uh, that break the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, it's Israelites that actually have uh, heathen mothers, but they sold out. Now, we'll name some of them. You got, uh, you got The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Oh, I'm looking at him now. Oh, it's Spirit. Mariah Carey. Yep, M Mariah Carey. But I I I'll deal with, because uh, uh, what Which is her mean? mother? Uh, Mariah Carey's mother. No, they, they say it. Okay. But she's a, oh, she, she, <laughs> she, 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 yeah, no, nah, she's, she's a Venezuela. Venezuela? No, her, her. Her mother, Patrice, is a Caucasian. Okay, well, her, I thought so. Her mother is an Edomite. <laughs> but we're going to deal with how Jakes have uh, have mothers of the other nations. We're not going to deal with the daughters of the wicked. Come He's on. talking about the daughters of men. Well, what's that basket? Tiger Woods. Gone. Mother Chinese. Gone. Yep. Woo! Yeah, so that goes right into it. So you got you got uh, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. His his mother is uh, Samoan. All right? But his, his father is a so-called Negro, a Judite. All right? He, he's a great man. Hey, man, I, we were just talking about that on, on Kick, man. He about to be in his new movie, uh, Rampage. This man playing in every damn thing, okay? You know, so he's a giant. So he, he has a great name. He's, he's popular. Everybody knows about The Rock. Tiger Woods. You can't mention golf and, and not talk about Tiger, Tiger Woods. Which, like the brother said, his mother is, uh, is Thai. Well, they say Thai in Chinese, you know, but she can't be both of them. But basically, uh, Chinese, you know, uh, a Moabite, okay? You know, but you about to make a point, Elder? You about to say something? Uh, is, isn't, is Colin Kaepernick's mom an Edomite and his dad a Jake? I, mean, I, I don't know. I know he was adopted. He was adopted. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure on that one. But I got, I got a quick point because if you go back to the, uh, the Blue Letter Bible <clears throat> and it goes into the definition of the word uh, giant, it says, excellent, noble, skillful. So these giants, which are men of great stature and, and, and status, they had their offspring became skillful men. Yep. Proven today. And I was gonna get the uh, the definition of the word status, because the word stature yep. goes status goes back to the word stature. Kind. Alright, so it says status, height of a situation or condition, legal standing of a person. Man. So your standing in society is your statue in society. That's why I call them. So that's why they were giants back then. Kind. Men of renown. They were famous. They were famous. Kind. Status, condition, position, state, manner, attitude, stem from stutter to stand. To stand, to make me firm, sense of standing in one society or profession. So I was standing in society back then while we were big, we were, we were giants. Because you need the Israelites. In, in, in order to uh, build your civilization or, or build your kingdom. Yep. You need us. We keep your kingdom uh, running. You know, so you got all these different entertainers. You got different people uh, in the corporate world. They're jakes, okay? So we keep you running, all right? You got something else? I was looking at You got Boris Cujo, Derek Jeter. You speak up some? Uh, uh, Boris <laughs> Cujo, Derek Jeter. Now, I want to say Muhammad Ali. I gotta look, I'm gonna look his up and make sure. You know, but just like the brothers getting into, man, uh Clay Thompson, all right, play for the Golden State Warrior. All right, he has a Caucasian mother, man. Kind. All right, so the scriptures, all right, prove the same to this very day, man. Kind. You know? And even even though, you know, we talking about how, how Jake has mothers or Jake lays down with women of the other nations, all right, but hey, we can apply it with the uh with the Edomite women as well. All right, even though we talking about the daughters of men. You know, but hell, hey, the brothers brought out the brother brought out some examples, all right? You know, because uh, uh, Derek Jeter he plays for the uh, the uh, New York Yankees or whatnot, all right? But his mother is an Edomite, you know, and there's many examples of that. As many examples 
of uh, uh, Jakes that have Edomite mothers. Okay, you got uh, the rapper Drake. His mother is an Edomite, an Amalekite to be exact. Okay, but you know, you get the idea, you get the point. Uh -huh. That's talking about us in the scriptures. It's not talking about some fallen angels. All right, and if you want to talk about angels falling, well, that's talking about us too. Because the Israelites we were angels in, in uh, human bodies, angels in human form, and we fell from our power. So that's talking about us. Okay, it's, uh, can you give me uh, Genesis 3 and 21? 3 and 21. <clears throat> All right, this is the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 21. It says, Unto Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord power make coats of skins and clothe them. Right, so in other words, the Lord gave them a nationality, which back during that time it wasn't Israel, they were called sons of God. Okay, you know, and, and it's proof on that. Okay, it's proof on that, and the brother's about to get it. Elder, can you give me uh, Luke 3 and 23? Luke chapter 3, verse 23. And Yahweh himself began to be about 30 years of age, being as was supposed the son of Joseph. Which was the son of Heli. Right. And it's saying, uh, as was supposed, hey, that's incorrect. He was the son of Joseph. But when it says, it says, uh, which was the son of uh, Heli, that's talking about uh, uh, Mary's uh, lineage. All right. Through her uh, grandfather, if I'm not mistaken. Heli. Okay. So, so even uh, Mary's lineage on her father's side goes back uh, uh, to King David. All right. And can you jump to verse 36? Uh, Luke chapter 3, verse 36. Which was the son of Cain, which was the son of Arphaxad, which was the son of Shem, which was, which was the son of Noah, which was... The hey, hey, but Salaki, brother, we're reading about the time of Noah. Those sons of God, right? The sons of God, okay? And this is before the flood, okay? Go ahead. All right. Um, which was the son of Lamech? Which was the son of Methuselah, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Mabalia, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. Adam was the son of God. <clears throat> okay? So, can you read that again? 3 and 21. Done. All right, this is the book of uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 21. Unto Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord power make coats of skin and clothe them? Right. So he, he classified them as the sons of God. And well, she, she would be a daughter of God, okay? You know, you, uh, you women of Israel, you're, you're princesses. And the men of Israel, we're, we're princes, all right? We're sons of the Most High, you're daughters of the Most High, okay? Can I, can I make it? a statement? You know, in the Christian world, you read about Genesis like, you know, Apple, knowledge, whatever. But the reality is, Genesis was the birth of a nation. That's right, brother. Adam was, he was, he was, he was pulled out of that tribe to start Israel, man. To start mm -hmm. the lineage of, of a great nation, man. Kind. <clears throat> you know? That's it. You know, the, the elder just said it, you know? You, you got something? Oh, uh, I was finna get you. had something that you want me to get? But, but you know, yeah, we gonna stick with Adam, because I, I think I know where you're going in there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, we can go from there. Can you give me 1 Kings 11 and 1? And can you give me... Uh, 1 Kings 14, 21. You didn't know? Come on. 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 1. But King Solomon loved many strange women, together with the daughter of Pharaoh. Women. Right. So, you know, so you can keep everything in perspective. We just explained how we are those sons of God going back uh, during the time of Genesis. Okay? Before the flood, that was talking about us. It was talking about the Israelites. But we, we weren't called Israelites then. All right? And think about the name Israel. Israel. Yashar Allah, he's a prince of the power, or he's a prince of God. A, a, a prince is the son of a king, okay? So you're saying a, a prince of God is like you're saying a son of God, okay? So it's talking about the Israelites. So we're reading about King Solomon, okay? A son of God, an Israelite, he loved many strange women, the daughters of men, okay? Go ahead, up. Women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites. Right, and that's what Jake does to this day. Can you give me 14 and uh, 21? 21. 21? 1 Kings 14, 21. Come on. All right. And, and Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, reigned in Judah. Now, you got it. Okay. 
Real Bone was 40 and one years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 17 years in Jerusalem, the city which the Lord did choose out of all the tribes of Israel to put his name there. Bible can shall read it again. All right. This is uh, the book of uh, 1 King, chapter 14, verse 21. And Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, reigned in Judah. Rehoboam was 40 and one years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 17 years in Jerusalem, the city which the Lord did choose out of all the tribes of Israel to put his name there. And his mother's name was Nahama and Ammonites. Right. Where you at? Right here. Come on. So, King Rehoboam's mother was an Ammonites. Okay? She, she came from the nation of Ammon. So, just like we read in the book of Genesis, the uh, sixth chapter, the, the sons of God saw the daughters of uh, men that they were fair, and they went in unto them, and they bare sons unto them. All right? So, it's the same thing. There is nothing new under the sun. It's talking about the same thing. Well, 2 Chronicles chapter 8, verse 11. And Solomon brought up the daughter of Pharaoh seven, out of seven, the city of David seven, unto the house that he had built for her. For he said, My wife shall not dwell in the, in the house of David, king of Israel, because the places are holy where unto the ark of Yahweh hath come. Right, so King Solomon had the daughter of Pharaoh. So, so he had a, uh, an Egyptian woman, a Hamite. A, a woman from uh, Mizraim or Matazarium, okay? So you see in the scriptures come to life, all right? These are examples, okay? All right, that's it on that. 2 Samuel 7 and 9. Come on. All right, this is the book of 2 yeah, Samuel, yeah. chapter 7, verse 9. And I was with thee, whithersoever thou wentest, and have cut off all thy enemies out of thy sight. And this is what the Lord did for King David, okay? Go ahead, out. And have made thee a great name, like unto the name of the great men that are in the earth. Men of renown. All right? So, that's talking about us, okay? That's talking about us. So All right? Nehemiah 13. Come Okay. Right now. Come Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 23. And in those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod. Of Ammon and of Moab. And their children spake half the speech of Ashdod and could not speak in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. Con, so you had Judites, Benjaminites, and, and uh, Levites. They would uh, marry, or they would basically uh, get these women of the other nations, and they wouldn't just let them be concubines. They would actually uh, wife them. Just like you would wife an Israelite woman. They did that with the women of the other nations. Women of uh, Ashdod, of uh, Moab and of Ammon. All right, and the brother brought out some examples. Jay doing that to this day. Okay, you know, so th that just shows you. You know, we're getting all these scriptures to show you the uh, the history behind all that. Okay, so you can know that people talking about some uh, fallen angels, angels kicked out of heaven, they fell to the earth. Which, which we we uh, we gonna get that scripture in Revelation uh, twelve. That's not talking about a uh, demons falling from heaven. It's talking about something else. And then, uh, I may say this, there are three classifications of men. Mm -hmm. Sons of God, sons of men, and the sons of the wicked. So Israel, Yasha, Allah, the prince of the power, we were the sons of the most high. You know, sons of men were just the heathen nations, man. That's it. That's it. Like when King Solomon got with the, the daughter of uh, Pharaoh, there was a manifestation of the son of God getting with the daughter of men. Man. Point blank period. Point blank period, man. That's it. Man, eight, two, and six. Come on. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Wait a minute. So, according to the scriptures, we're gods, okay? M meaning uh, powers. We're, we're, uh, we're the uh, judges of the earth. But we're also angels in human bodies, okay? Go ahead. Verse 7. But ye shall die like men. But we die like men today. Why? Because we're in these human bodies. Okay? These mortal bodies. Go ahead. And fall like one of the princes. And fall like one of the princes. So there you have the fallen ones. That's us. Okay? We are the fallen ones. We fell from our power. We fell from our high estate or our status. Okay? Go ahead. First John 3 and 1. Come on. 
Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Wait a minute. So we're being called the sons of Yahweh, the sons of God all over again. Because like we've been reiterating through the spirit, history is repeating itself. Okay? And once we get that power this time, we're not going to lose it. Okay? Now going back during the time of uh, King Solomon, you know, that was, that was the uh, beginning of us losing our power. You know, after he... Uh, after he married those strange women, which it was nothing wrong with him having women of the other nations, but he started worshiping their gods. Okay? And that's when he, you know, he, he started going off. He started going off, but, you know, the Lord wanted that, wanted that to happen. Because after that, our nation was divided. We were split into two kingdoms. The southern kingdom of Israel, which, which are Judah, uh, Benjamin, and Levi, and the northern kingdom of Israel, which are Ephraim and the other tribes. We, was, we were divided you know, so that was all through the spirit because it was according to prophecy that that would happen. OK, but after that, we started going down. We started falling, you know, because the split really took place during the time of his son, Rehoboam, whose mother was a, a, an Ammonitis. OK, but I'm uh, sticking to the point. We're being called sons of God all over again. OK, go ahead. All right. That we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. I yep. have a quick one. They said we're going to be called sons of God, going back to how it was in the uh, ancient world. This is Zephaniah 3 and 19. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. We're going to be men of renown again. God. We're going to be great men again. We're going to have that status. Yep, that status. And just like the elder apostle Gabar was talking uh, to me and the elder about, you know, earlier. Basically, in the kingdom, our children, our sons and daughters, they're going to be writing books about us. And they're going to be reading about us. Okay? They're going to be reading about us in the scriptures. So we're going to be great, powerful men. You can only imagine. I got a real quick one. So, like, Psalms 80, because it said, because it also says, because the, therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. So right now we lost that status of being the sons of God. Psalms 83 and 3. They have taken crafty, crafty counsel against our people and consulted against our hidden ones. Right. Going back to uh, 1 John 3 and 1, yep. the world knew us not. Yeah, it's as if people don't know us because yeah. we're, we're not being acknowledged as who we are. We lost their reputation as being the sons of the most yep. high. Matter of fact, since you got that, can you get Lamentations uh, 4 and you get your precept real quick? Okay, come. This is the book of John chapter 20, verse 16. Yahweh Shai said unto her, Mary, she turned herself and said unto him, uh, Rabbi, which is to say, Master, Yahweh Shai said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet uh, ascended to my father. Go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend to my father and your father and to my power and your power. Right, so another point, going back to Adam, because Yahweh Shai is Adam, you know? Yahweh Shai, he's, he, he's Adam in the reincarnation. And matter of fact, we're going to get the scripture in 1 Corinthians. He's called the last Adam. He's called the last Adam because when he came as himself, he was perfected. But he said he, he went to his father and he's going to our father. Why? Because we're the same people and we're going to be joint heirs with them. Just like Adam, the man Adam was called the son of God. You had the sons of God as a whole, which are the Israelites. We were called sons of God too. It began with him, but we were called sons of God also. Okay? Hey, this is beautiful, man. Oh, you got it. Okay, can I uh, get another one? Come on, you got it. Yeah. Uh, Lamentations 4 and 2. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed as earth and pictures, the work of the hands of the potter? So we went from having the status of being the sons of God, being giants, meaning we had status on the planet Earth as the sons of God on the planet Earth, to so we've been esteemed as earth and pictures, man. Nobody's now. Nobody's unknown to the world. You wanted to get verse 8? Come on. Uh, uh, Lamentations 4 and 8. Their visage is blacker than the cold. They are not known in the streets. Can you Woo. get Can you get uh, both of those definitions? Uh, uh, black and, uh, and known. Okay. Because pretty much we're unknown right now. Because like the elder has said, we're the hidden ones. Okay? We, we lost that, that power and that status we had. And the whole uh, planet Earth, the majority of the people on planet Earth, they're not acknowledging us uh, for being the Israelites, okay? So we're hidden, okay? okay? It's a secret. Let's give me one second. Kind. All right, you said black and known? Kind. All right, 
the word black, I got um, what's that? Kasar? Kashak. 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 And it says to be dark as withholding light, transitively to darken, to be black, dark, darken, cause darkness, be dim, hide. Hide! It said hide, hidden ones. Then it said that visage. Yep. So your face is your identity, man. Oh, that's it, man. Because a, a visage goes back to visage. Like, you got a sun visor that hides your face. Kind. A visage is your face. So your face to the world, your identity to the world, has been hidden. Kind. So you've been called Negroes going back to Deuteronomy. You're a byword in the proverb, man. Kind. All right, I don't want to get yep. the word. Um, oh, what's the uh, no? No. Okay. I'm going to get the word no. That word there is. One second, I gotta load up. Strong's H, Nakar, Nakar, and it says primitive root, probably, pro properly to scrutinize, to look intently at, hence to acknowledge, to be acquainted with, care for, respect, revere. But it says unknown. It said uh, to disregard, ignore, to disregard. So, and that's why I scripture says in uh, Deuteronomy, the uh, 33rd chapter, thine enemies shall be found liars. Okay? We're being disregarded. All is right. this more on it? Oh, yeah. Be strange toward, reject. Oh, be strange toward. We became Israelites. Not, not Israelites, excuse me. We became like uh, Gentiles. Yeah. Okay? Reject, resign, disemulate, as if ignoring or disowning. Like, like uh, what happened in Venezuela? Trump ignored the situation in Venezuela. Yeah. All the shit. Oh, when when Jake get his head blown down the street, Barack Obama he said that that's yep. a state affair, that's a local affair. What they got to do with me? Yep. What happened with uh, Jake down in Puerto Rico? Con. Yeah, that's what I meant. Puerto Rico. Con. Yeah, man. You see how Trump did you? You know, you hollering for for FEMA. <clears throat> Same thing. What Jake did uh, here in the states, uh, uh, down in Louisiana, you know, during Hurricane Katrina, where FEMA at? Where you know, George Bush didn't give a damn. All right. Um, even the habitation of mostly Jake, they're ignored. You're ignored. You don't. You don't partake in the glamour of America. Kind of, yeah. You're in. You're in the backwood in the backyard, man. You don't get your street fix. Yep. You kind know, of. abandoned house. They rid of the house. Yep. Yep. You know, this in Jake community, man. You know, I got a quick one. Kind of. Real quick. You got it. And it go good with what that definition of brother just brought out. This show you how we <coughs> were respected. All right, when we was in our power, man. But this is all. Uh, Genesis 22 and 5. And the children of Heth answer Abraham, saying unto him, Hear us, my Lord, thou art a mighty prince among us. In the choice of our scapulars, buried thy dead. None, none of us shall withhold, withhold from thee his uh, sepulture, but that thou mightest bury thy dead. Right, so those nations, like the brother said, they have respect unto us because in the spirit we stood tall. You know, and, and Jake said in songs, man. Jake Jake says it in songs. Uh, 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 motivation with Ti. He said five nine with the, the soul, soul of a six four nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 back on my back on my grizzly. That one song with Lil Wayne. He said, uh, I'm so young, but I'm a giant like fee five four fum. Uh, Come on, man. Yeah. So it that's us. And in the spirit, even though Jake don't know the truth. You know, Jake Spirit, bro, witness that, that that's us, that's them. Well, you know, he had a song like Big Dog. Jake say Big Dog, man. Yeah. Right? Well, well, really, what Jake referred to you as a big dog, they saying like you a, you a, you, get, you got status in a little yeah. environment. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you a big dog, huh? You know what I'm saying? Yep. Or oh, you got heart. You, you got know what heart? I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, Cause Jake, man, Jake, Jake off the uh, the meat rack, well, so to speak. And what they say <laughs> when uh, you about to uh, get famous? Oh, you gonna get big? You gonna get big? You, you gonna be big, yeah. man? They see, your, kind. they see your potential like, oh, you're going to be big, man. Yep. You're going to be a giant, man. Icon, you know. Want that Jew kind. Or right, is the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 6. And, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he have reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. So we are those angels which kept not their first estate. Our first estate is when we were in the spiritual realm. Okay? We had those celestial bodies. But the Lord sent us down on the planet Earth. We're those angels that got cast down to the Earth. And now we're in human form. 
I have said you are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High, but you shall die like men. Those we got those chains of darkness. Yeah, hey, it said like the brother said, come blow up, right? Mm -hmm. And what happens when you get like a like a uh, like an inflatable figure? It's a blow up doll. Yep. But it's as big as hell. You know, that's the point. You, you blow it up, man. Magnify. You magnify, God. man. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, hey, the Romans eight. Yeah, the nineteen. Yeah, yeah, get that. Huh. This is the uh, book of Romans, chapter eight, verse nineteen. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the man for take. Manifestation of the sons of the Most High. The earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. So these other nations, they're waiting for us to get, to uh, come back into power, because you know you have a lot of these heathens because they're sick. Of, they're sick of Esau. They're sick of these devils ruling. So you have certain heathens, like you got that one video. I want to say a woman is uh, in Afghanistan, or well, she's in Iraq, right? She's in one of those places. Yeah, yeah, I think it's Afghanistan. Afghanistan, yeah. right? You know, you you got this uh, this Ishmaelite woman. Basically, she's, she's saying that we're the real Jews. We're the real Israelite, Israelites, okay? And, and she was like, I just found out that you all in America don't know you're Israelites. You know what I mean? Because they know it. They know. It's, it's, <laughs> they got the history, man. Yep. Let's see what it is. It's still hidden to the world because Esau, the so-called white man, he's blackballing this truth. He doesn't want it to... Uh, to be magnified or to blow up. He doesn't want us to be men of renown again. Huh. You know, huh. because he knows once that happens, that's his ass. Like it tells you in, uh, in, in uh, Revelation 11, you know, Esau and, and other nations too, because they still got an ass whooping coming for them too. But they wouldn't, they wouldn't uh, bury our dead bodies or they wouldn't allow us to know the truth because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. The southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, we were putting hell on you other nations, especially Esau. All right, but see, the other nations, they know, well, even though they about to catch hell, it's not going to be as bad as what they're experiencing under Esau. Yeah, because, you know, the Middle Eastern nations, they're not just totally uh, far away from our laws. Yeah. Islam is not that different from Israel. It's close to all this other shit. Now, America, Esau can't take that government, man. Esau is the opposite of righteousness, man. You know, all those other Eastern nations... The, the law of the Most High is not that far-fetched to them, you know? Con. Con. They get it. They, they get it. They understand it. All right. What's some more on that? Uh, I think that was it, bro. But yeah, it said, it said the earnest expectation of the creature, which are the other nations, they wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. So they're waiting for us to come back into power. And for us to be manifested in the future, that means that we have to be hidden now. That's Going it. back to Psalms 83, the hidden ones, man. Man. They are not known in the streets. So it had been revealed to the rest of the world who we are, man. And it's being revealed now. And I was being revealed. <laughs> yeah. that, hey, that, that goes to the word apocalypse. The people like to speak about the apocalypse, right? Like you read the book of Revelation. The word apocalypse means to reveal. The word apocalypse means revelation. So it's being revealed who the real Israelites are. That's being revealed now. Okay? The world's best kept secret is not a secret anymore. All right? If I got a quick one, go ahead. This is the uh, book of Luke, chapter 8, verse 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Man. Neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Which is us. Th that main thing that's hid is us. And it's coming abroad right now. This world, hey man, the world is being uh, introduced uh, to, to uh, the men of the Most High, so to speak. And the ways of the Most High. Okay, you, you seeing the real men of the Lord right now because this word, the word of Yahweh Bashem Shah, is being broadcasted all throughout the entire planet Earth right now. So this is that gospel that was spoken of to come. Okay, pursuing to the prophecies. Uh, can you get that scripture in uh, Philippians three twenty? Okay, Philippians chapter three verse twenty. For our conversation is in heaven, Corinthians. from whence also we we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Right. So we're waiting for Yahweh Shah to come back. Hey, because the brother read in uh, 1 John chapter 3, you know, uh, when uh, when he shall uh, be, be revealed or when we see Yahweh Shai, we're going to be like him. He's the son of God, so we're being sons of God too. And along with that is our bodies changing, okay? Having that, that uh, extraterrestrial body, that superhuman body. So then you're going to see it. These are the gods of the planet Earth. These are really sons of God, Okay? Oh, Philip, that's a lot. Read it again. Yeah, nah, some more on that. All right, uh, verse 20. Okay, I'll just start over. Philip, 
Philippians 3 and 19 and 20. For our conversation is in heaven, for once also we look for the Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who shall change our vowed body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. When he shall be revealed, we shall be like him. You know? So we're going to share these, uh, these mere mortal bodies and we're going to put on immortality. Okay? Get some more on that. According to working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Right. And that's what he's coming back to do. All right. Everything is going to be subdued under, under the uh, sun. All right. You know, so uh, go ahead. The first Corinthians, the first Corinthians chapter 15. All right. Verse uh, 45. <coughs> all right. Uh, first Corinthians 14, 45. Or uh, four, uh, 15. Fitz Locky. First Corinthians 15 and 45. And so it is written. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Right, because see, the first Adam, which that's that's Yahweh Shai, he wasn't made perfect then. All right? Because uh, the, the scriptures say through Adam we fell. All right? We, we fell. The fallen ones. Yeah, this this is a hive. We got you on a live lesson right now. We went up to connect this elder Kazak right next to me. Hey, Shalom, my Yahweh, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Hey, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Hey, Shalom, brother Yahweh, 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 to the uh yeah, to the true. speaker. Okay, so like this spiritual that you brothers had, you just you're going in on uh us being the Nephilim and the fallen angels because uh early this morning or early this morning my time I did a video uh regarding a confusion of faces man and how because of our sins uh because of our sins that we are uh we under this thing. And if we had been our people been I in the video I said that our people been dealing with this thing for millennia, but okay, shit, okay. we've been dealing with this since the beginning of the time. Like you brother said, because we oh, yeah. we were dealing with the women, uh uh the daughters of men in the garden, man. You know, out, outside the garden, man, when when Adam uh and Eve got put out. Come. And our people was dealing with the different women and then we would put our spirit on them. That's why we see a lot of these nations, they're great. They're great in stature. They big. And when I say big, I mean like big and uh, know who they, people know who they are because a lot of them go back to our people, man. You know what I'm saying? So like The Rock, he has a daughter. Her name is uh, Simone Johnson. Gar Simone Garcia Johnson. When you see her, she look like a she look like a Samoan, like a straight up Samoan. But she's actually a Judite, man. And then you got, he got another daughter. She look like an Edomite. He got a daughter with an Edomite woman. And she looks like a a Edomite, man, but she's actually a Judah. So real quick, this is Daniel's 9 and 7. Oh, Lord, righteousness belongeth unto us, unto thee, Salakia. Oh, Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us, confusion of faces. As at this day, to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and, to, uh, and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off through all the countries whither thou hast driven them because of their trespasses. Well, they have trespassed against thee. So the Lord scattered us for a reproach. Now he's bringing us back together. And now apostles and elders and brothers like yourself, elders like yourself, now we're waking up the different, we're waking up the people, man. This is the reason why I believe, and it's just me as a man, I believe we were scattered amongst these different nations. I mean, like I live out here in Jaffet land, man. Why is that? Because hey, we got Jake out here. They got to get up. They got to wake up. They got to come mm -hmm. out of their sleep. And they're going to look like these different nations. They're going to talk like these different nations. Shit, some of them practice the ways of these different nations. Isaiah but, uh -huh. but they're going to they're gonna come back to the law, such and commandments. They're going to come back to their ways of their forefathers. And this is what John saw in Revelation 7 and 9. 7 and nine. He was like, well, what are all these people that have different nations? Well, they were Israelites, man. Yeah. And so with that, yeah. all praise God and glory. Yahweh, Bashem, 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 and the water for calling. Shalom, elders. Yahweh, Bashem, 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 all right, you go, Elder. <laughs> hey, uh, can you, read, you you had a scripture right that you just uh, you was reading? That yeah, first Corinthians. Yeah, read it again while we find the scripture. Okay, okay. numbers what now? Uh, Twenty three. All right, then back in First Corinthians chapter fifteen. All right, verse forty five. And so it is written: 
The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. You can break it down, Doc. Come, just like the brother was going into, man. Uh, uh, everything has came full circle, man. You know, because Paul, all right, learned from who? Yahweh Shah, man. He had the mysteries, man. All right, so he understood that Yahweh Shah was Adam in the garden. All right, that they, they, they brought sin like and death 24. into the world. All right, and he's that last Adam. All right, uh, come as you have a shot. All right, and they brought redemption, man. All right, redeemed us from that death penalty, man. You know, so everything full circle, like the uh, the elders getting into, man. Kind because uh, uh, the scriptures say how the Lord uh, breathed into Adam the, the breath of life, so He gave Adam the laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay, and, and took him out of uh, confusion because he was made from earth, but uh, but back then we were in a confused state. All right, and so the Lord gave us uh, his laws, and the laws were, were uh, passed down orally, okay? But like I said, you know, uh, during that time, we still had, had those uh, mortal bodies, so we would still die. Because uh, the way of us having the, uh, the tree of life, it, it wasn't meant for that time yet. We're getting it right now. That's why in the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to die, okay? And we're getting that by way of Yahweh Shah, because he was made a quickening spirit. He was raised from the dead. And the scriptures say how once he was raised, he can't die anymore. All right? But, uh, and we're going to come back to that. But to get another point, going back to what the brother Gabar, uh, Yahweh, had brought out. Hey, man, it's nothing new under the sun. Israel always got it in with these women of other nations. Okay? And, uh, and you know, another point he made, too, you know, uh, that was used because, you know, the Lord wanted that to happen because the Lord wanted this to be a, uh, a great deliverance. By, by us being among the other nations, he's going to gather us from the other nations, okay? And you're going to see Israelites looking like the other nations. They're not going to look like Israelites. And we're going to get uh, some scriptures on that, okay? Go ahead. Numbers 24 and 5. How goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles of Israel. As the valleys are, they spread forth. As gardens by the riverside, as trees of line are those which Yahweh have planted and they see the trees besides the waters. Right, so this is uh, Balaam, okay, the Midianite, who was sent out by Balak, the king of Moab, to curse Israel. But he didn't end up cursing Israel. He actually blessed Israel. So basically, he's seeing Israel in the vision. And he's seeing us in our glory. Okay? Go ahead, out. He shall pour the water out of his buckets. Wait a minute. It's talking about Israel, Jacob. He shall pour the water out of his buckets. What's that water? Your semen. Okay, now you have your sperm, but but uh, but, but your sperm they, they swim. Okay, and and that semen basically it, it uh it acts as a uh a passageway for lack of better words. Okay, so that's talking about your sperm. He should pour the water out of his buckets, his sperm out of his testicles. Okay, go ahead. And his seed should be in many waters. And his seed, his sperm, shall be in many waters. Now I got this scripture really quick. This is uh Revelation. Chapter 17, Revelation chapter 17 and verse 15. And he said unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. So Jacob's seed being in many waters, that's Jacob's seed being in many nations by way of sex. Because you, you've been watching throughout this whole lesson. You understand that the Israelite man likes women of the other nations. So they like those women, they have sex with those women, and bear children. And that's why Israelites look like the other nations now. Okay? That's why we judge by the spirit. We try the spirit. Okay? We try the spirit by the spirit. That's how you know if a person is an Israelite or not. You filter their spirit by way of the word. Okay? I got a real quick one. Just move. You got it? Isaiah 48 and 1. Hear ye this, O Israel of Jacob. I'm sorry. Hear ye this, O house of Jacob which are called by the name of Israel and are come forth out of the waters of Judah. Proving like Israel came out of the waters of Judah, but proving that water is that, that, that semen, man. Come on. You know? That's right. That's right. And uh, and really, hey, man, pretty much all you other nations, you really come out of us anyway. You know? I mean, it, you know, that's talking about uh, Israel, like, yeah, like the, the, yeah, the, the tribes the of Israel tribes, come coming out of us. But on another level, all right, we know... Uh, Basically, because these guys' argument, they want to say that the sons of God is not talking about the, the Israelites because you didn't have Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
But basically, if, if you go in the spirit, you'll understand that the Israelites, we were every important uh, key figure in the scriptures. To make a point on that, well, you got Adam. We're reading about Adam. Okay, you got Adam. You got uh, Noah. Okay, Noah, Noah had to be an Israelite. The elder Apostle Har, he was speaking on that. Okay, you know, and, and by way of Noah, you got Noah's three sons. Which out of those three sons come all nations. So on another level, you other nations, you, you come out of us. Now, like I said, that scripture the brother read, that's talking about the tribes of Israel. Right. You know, but like I said, on another level, you other nations, you, you basically come out of Israel. All right. Yeah. You know, I just get into the point of waters. Come on. Hey, but I was going to make a quick point. The physical manifestation of what the spirit is bringing out. Look at men like Isaac Hayes, man. Barry White. Uh, 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 like those basketball players like LeBron James. That produces anybody on the planet Earth, man. Yep. Those are, dominant. Those are called dominant genes. Even Esau science tells you that dominant genes can create recessive genes. The other nations have... Hey. <laughs> no, no, go ahead, finish. The other nations have recessive genes. They can't produce men that look like us. Japheth, Esau, Moab, they're not going to produce men that look like us, but we produce men that look like Japheth, Esau. We produce men that look like, uh, you know, the heathens. Keep they can come out of our lawns. I can get with a dark-skinned woman, and I can have a daughter that look white as hell, man. But two Edomites ain't gonna produce a man that looks like me because even the most it tells you in Esau science that these are dominant features, man. The big lips, the broad nose, the dark skin, your kind, the pink, the melanin in my eyes. <clears throat> You're actually Keaton. Yeah, and it's something because, and we gonna we gonna bring it out. Mm -hmm. You other nations, you taught us to hate ourselves, yep. especially Esau. You, you taught us that this is a curse when, in fact, you're cursed. You're the people of the Lord's curse. All right. You're the people of the Lord's curse. <clears throat> that leprosy, your whole nation is cursed with leprosy. All right. And, and I'm, I'm going to say you have a lot of Israelites that have that curse. Well, we brought the scripture out. When you have a shot comes back, you're going to look like him. You're going to get that new body. You're going to get your look back. Mm -hmm. You're going to have that immortal body, but you're going to look like an Israelite again. All right. So you don't got to. Worry about that, but the brother, uh, the brother has a, a video, and it's by uh, Ashley uh, Keaton. Ashley Keaton, and it's ten questions for Hebrew Israelites. And one of the questions they had is, how can Isaac be black and Esau be white? But the brother just broke it down. All right, people with dominant features, it, uh, uh, Israelites, we have dominant uh, uh, traits. All right, we, we have dominant genes. We can give birth to, to recessive a, genes. To recessive genes. I that's mean, it. That's on Google. That's on fucking Google. I learned that in school, man. Like this, this bitch is simple, man. Kind. You can have two black pit bulls. They could give birth to them white pit bulls and no pigment. The eyes would be red or something. You know what I mean? Kind. Yeah, because the dominant genes can produce recessive genes. But when you look at the Israelite man, oh, like very on, white man. Isaac Hayes. I'm, I'm speaking as a man, but that's the image of a son of the Most High. That's the most high manifest on the planet Earth, man. Not no motherfucking Caesar boys yet. You see? 12 and 9. But the point is, we are the God. When you look at it, we, the men you're looking at right now, we're gods, man. And you brothers look in the mirror, man. You a son of your how about some how shy. That's dominance, man. Come on. We were supposed to be pretty and cute, man. We're supposed to be like we are the lions on the planet Earth, man. Come on. Israelite men with those dominant features. They, they have faces like lions. Dwayne Wade, LeBron James had a face. The forehead lines wrinkle up. Y'all are the sons of the most high, man. Kind of. Well, and Esau, these damn devils, they, they got the nerve to call us monkeys. But a, a monkey's face is uh, white. Kind of. A monkey's face is white, and monkeys don't have lips hardly. Kind of. Y'all you, you, look like the damn monkeys, man. Y'all closer to the monkey. Yeah, you close to the monkey. And they'll say that when we go back to monkeys. Well, you go back to the damn monkey. <laughs> Y'all yeah. lived in the caves at one, at one point in time. And we actually civilized you, okay? And all that history is coming out because we in the end of your world, all right? You got it out. Come on, this the uh, this from the brother uh, in DC, uh, GMS Army one forty four, all right? Jeremiah twelve and nine. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. Right. So a, a speckled bird is a bird of many different colors, okay? Many different colors. So Israel, we come in a wide variety. Of uh, colors, a wide variety of uh, shades, different shades of brown. Okay, so you so called Negroes, they get mad that the so called Mexicans and the so called Puerto Ricans and the so called Dominicans, Colombians, etc., are Israelites. All right, you get mad at that fact because of how they look. 
Well, that scripture explained it. We're a speckled bird. So we look we look like anything at the end of the day, man. All right. On a positive note, because when you look at all the tribes, all the tribes are beautiful. You know, you, you'll see uh, Gad, so-called uh, Native American Indians. You know, they have that they have that dark skin. Some of them are lighter skin, but they'll have that silky hair. You know, you know, you, you see uh, Judah, you know, Judah Benjamin. They should act right now. I mean, that was, that was the point I was making, though, bro. You know, physically, the tribes are beautiful. And it's, it's, it's a spiritual diversity within the tribes. It's how animals have their different behaviors and their different natures and their different spirits. All right. The tribes have those different spirits, but it's all angelic, man. Kind. They all have a specialty, man. Kind. Yeah, the, the Lord made us that way. And that's why, if I can make the point, you know, that's why Esau uh, heaps all nations unto himself because he ain't got no talent. You know, that's why he's hell bent on heaping all these nations uh, to himself, man. But when you read about ancient Israel, we was always exclusive doing our own thing. Because like the brother said, we didn't need nobody. We create a whole Same nation of, of warriors and, all right, and, 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 and mighty men. All right. We, we create a whole nation of leaders, man. All right. We can create that amongst ourselves. But Esau has to heap up all nation because he can't reproduce. All right. What we have, man. You know, a dominant gene, man. Kind. And if I could just make a quick point, too. Proving that we were, we were those giants mentioned, a lot of brothers speak on how they go, when they go overseas, they get embraced, man, because we have that reputation even in our lower state. We have that, that stature and that status. When we leave America, they embrace us, man, because that's, that's the giants, man. Kind, yeah, hey, man, uh, the brother uh, Barack, the elder brother Barack Allah from L.A., he was speaking about how he was stationed in, uh, in Japan, you know, when he was in the military. You know, he, he said that Ammon over there loves us. You know, so that's a beautiful point. The brother, uh, the elder brother, Yakal, from Arkansas, he spoke about how he was uh, stationed in, in, uh, in Thailand. He said those, those people in Thailand love us, all right? And he said he wasn't the only uh, Judite there. He said that there were other uh, Judites there, okay? And he felt embraced, you know? That's what he was, you know, speaking to us about, Come. you know, before we... Uh, or yeah, after we did, the, yeah, yeah. Come. After we uh, did the trail of tears, all right. They try to make a move over there. Yeah, yeah. They wanted to move over there, mm -hmm. kind. Like so, like the elder said, we're embraced, man. It's only in Babylon the Great where we're just hated. Okay. Go ahead. I Second Ezra chapter two verse eighteen. For thy help will I send my servants Isaiah and Jeremiah. Right, but it's, it says Esay in uh in Jer in Jeremy. Jeremy, Come. you know. Hey, but, you know, it's talking about the prophets. You know, showing you the importance of the prophets. You mean read that verbatim? Kind. For thy help will I send my servants, Esau and Jeremy. Right, which, which, like the brother said, is Isaiah and Jeremiah. Okay. After whose counsel I have sanctified and prepared for thee twelve trees laden with diverse fruits. Right. Which goes into how in the kingdom of heaven we're going to be opened up to all types of knowledge, man. You know? You know, and it's dealing with the 12 tribes of Israel. That, that's really who it's for, okay? But, you know, in the kingdom of heaven, you know, when you read in uh, in Revelation chapter 22, it speaks about how, you know, how, uh, you know, the way of the tree of life, by way of the tree of life, you know, uh, the leaves of uh, of the tree are, for the, healing of, are the, for the healing of the nations. Matter of fact, can we get that? I don't want to misquote it. Revelation 22, and it's verse 2. But, but it goes to the same thing because we're going to have uh, the knowledge of uh, the, uh, the zodiac signs. See, right now we don't have it, but we're, we're not meant to have it right now. Right now we just need the knowledge of salvation. But see, you know, it, it's an actual meaning to the, uh, the, the time of the year when you're born. You know, it's a spiritual meaning behind all that. But see, right now we don't have it. You know, Esau, he'll speak about it. He'll talk about the horoscope, but that's on the left-hand side. But see, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have it on the right-hand side. So just like, you know, brothers are born in different dates, brothers, brothers are from different tribes, you know, it's a spiritual meaning behind all that, okay? Go ahead. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 2. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve men of fruits. And right, which is going to the same thing the elder just read. Go mm -hmm. ahead. And yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Right, because we're going to have full access to the blessings of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, that that pure river of water of life, 
We're going we to understand the constellations. We're going to be able to understand everything in the kingdom. All right? So the, the fruit of the planet Earth, everything is going to be beautiful, man. We're going to understand, you know, uh, planting and harvesting perfectly. Right now, we don't even get, have our own damn land. You know? You try to grow a tomato, we never grow it up the soil. Like yeah. The hell. Only thing Jay grows is damn weed, man. Yeah. You know, marijuana, which a lot of that marijuana is GMO. And you know, and just to add, man, most high beautiful even to even give us harvest. Kind right. Esau get you all into Halloween and shit. But just think of that, man. The earth is bringing forth what you sown. You know, and now you're harvesting it. Like how you harvest your energy, you're harvesting something that comes from the earth, like pumpkins and all types of uh, nutrients, man. And it's gonna be potent. It's gonna be potent. It's, it's gonna be potent in the kingdom. Yeah. You know. Hey, man, one grape might be the size of a basketball. And we talk about it all the time. I mean, this brother, he used to go into it a lot. In the kingdom of heaven, we were speaking about it, uh, I want to say this past weekend, if I'm not mistaken. Like, you go going into your house, or, or it, it could be one of your houses. It's basically, basically like an aquarium. You got fish all on the side of you, you know, and, and the fish, the fish they, uh, they glow. You got precious stones in the water. So we're going to be on another level in the kingdom, man. And then, like the elder brothers in Texas said, Pursuant to Isaiah chapter 4, you know, it's going to be chariots over the land of Israel just, just to uh, better the atmosphere. J just for a, a good energy. Okay? You know, so, hey amen, the Lord is going to change the whole vibration of the planet Earth. Everything wicked now. You know, every, everyone is all depressed. Things dying. All that's going to flip, man. Yeah, your spirit all low. You don't even know why sometimes. Like, I just, I just hate this shit. Because you're in hell, man. Dumb. You know? Yep. And then, then uh, during this time of the year, because you got harvest, you know, you got the, the fall, but after this is winter, so everything is dying. And that's a very demonic time uh, for the so-called Illuminati, for these elite. And I said so-called because we're the real Illuminati. Okay, it's us. Okay, we're the real enlightened ones. But basically, it's a very demonic time for them. All right? So, you know, hey, man, that's why we got to stay, uh, stay plugged in. We got to stay... We got to keep our shit wired tight, like the elder Apostle Rakas say, because Satan going hard, man, and he only going to go harder. All right? But um, with that, uh, you brothers got anything else? Hey, man, the, be patient with the hell that we live in, because it's, it's a heaven to come, man. Come. You come. Know? And, we, and we had a big fall, man. You know, people try to look like, you know, we went from Tupac to Young Thug. It go way deeper yeah. than that, man. Tupac yeah, was right? a big fall. Yeah, we, we went from the come. house of David. All right, to the house of Solomon. All right, to stand in the apartment, man. To being niggas. <laughs> to being called niggas. <laughs> you know. Chief Keith. Yeah, yeah. To, yeah. to getting uh uh racial to to, to getting uh racially uh, profiled or, or systematic racism. Damn. Okay, which is another form of slavery and and working jobs for the devil, working jobs for Esau. Yeah, the whole world was a servant unto us at one point, man. Come. We were the center of the earth, man. They had to pay tax to us. Yeah. All right, but now we we got to pay taxes. We got to clock in. Jay didn't even know. Jay can't fathom being a part of the house of David where the world worked for you. Yep. You know? We were called the joy of the whole earth at one time. Come. You know? So even though we, was, hey, we put hell on the nations, we put them in subjection. Yeah, like you said, man, at one point in time, they were paying tribute to us, uh, mm -hmm. taxes. But, hey, man, they still enjoyed us being in power. Come. You know? I mean, we put hell on them, but at the same time, at least at least things went uh, righteously, okay? We didn't go too hard on the nations, man. Come. You know? We went hard on Edom. We always went hard on Esau. It was always about getting rid of you, Come. okay? And then this time, hey, man, after you serve your sentence, that thousand-year period, you're going to be put out the earth, man. And just to prove your point, you know, hearing Mabil and his servants... King Solomon, when you read about the payment that they got paid for building the temple, King Solomon made those men wealthy, man. I mean, those heathen nations that built, that helped build the uh, temple, all right, he made those uh, nations wealthy, man. You know, it wasn't just no uh, $10 an hour, man. He made those nations wealthy like the brother getting into, man. Yep. Like 20,000 measure of meal, 20,000 uh, measure of uh, 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 wine. All right, that he made them wealthy with substance, man. He was you fair. Know? He was fair, man. Man, and, and, and the scriptures say because our people think the Most High not fair. If if we had that glory back then, hey man, don't you know we about to go from zero to one hundred? Like the brother said, he gave them cities, Cons. Cons. Yeah, Cons. You know, so you can only imagine what the Lord is going to do for us because the scriptures say how Israel says the way of the Lord is not equal, meaning it's not fair. It is fair 
Because even though we in hell, you know what we about to get? We about to get the universe, man. As a matter of fact, you did, you did your, uh, I want to say you did your spiritual hydration on this or another yeah. video. So can you give me Psalm 84? Come, come. Yeah, man, because even though we're looked at as insignificant, don't you know that one Israelite man is looked at as insignificant? It's about to get the world, you know? This is uh, ready. Yeah, yeah. This is Psalm 84 and 10. For a day in thy court is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my power than to dwell in the tents of the wickedness. Right, because when the uh, the Queen of Sheba saw the sitting of uh, King Solomon's servants, basically when she saw all that glory, she was blown away. Not even just us seeing the king himself, but his servants. All right? So you can only imagine what we're going to get. So it's way better, even though the Lord isn't going to make you a servant in the kingdom. You're not going to be a doorman in the kingdom, but it just shows you the type of power you're going to have. You know, hey man, uh, the psalmist was saying he would rather be a doorman in the kingdom than, than to basically make it on this side, than to sell out on this side, because Jake, hey man, you selling out for nothing, man. All right, hey, America about to be destroyed, man, and you gonna lose your, hey man. If we knew what the Lord was gonna give us, we go crazy, man. You really hate the date in, but the Lord has to block it from our spirit so we can, you know, have hope. You know, we know what we're going to get, but we don't know in detail, you know, so we fantasize and, you, you know, you dream and, you know, hey man, Jake has a wild imagination, but basically, hey, it's a spirit, we're going to close, but hey, through spirit, we're still talking, but it, it is what it is, man, you can only imagine, Jake is creative, we're inventive, you know, hey, hey if you had the power and the resources, you think about what you can do now. You imagine when the Lord gives you the world, what you could be able to do. That, that's why it says in uh, Isaiah chapter 65, mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. So anything that you like to do, hey man, if you like music, just wait for the kingdom. You can have your own orchestra. You can have, you can have your music how you like it and you can have the other nations play it for you. And your chariot, you can have your own chariot, your own so-called UFO. All right? You, and and, and uh, angelic uh, vehicle where, where you have that symphony playing your music. However you like it, man. You know, some Jake like the Battle of the Bands, man. And that music actually go, goes closer back to what we had Come. than this damn bullshit on the radio. Come. Okay? I, and that's just one example. If you like women, just wait. What, whatever you like. And we're getting into the stones now. we into the herbs. We're going to have all that back, man. And we're not going to have to clock in. Yep. You know, we gotta play. We gotta. Uh, you should make a point though. No, I'm just saying. Just adding on what he's saying. Incense, the yeah. different smells. Yep. Because you, know? you know, you'll be into that, man. And I, I my, me personally, I like plants and stuff, and like water, like waterfalls and stuff, fountains. Then you go to work in Babylon, have your spirit all messed up. You forget to resort back to that, man. Con. But in the kingdom, we're gonna be immersed in that, man. It's gonna be, man, our world. We always speak about how us being in this world is not our element, yeah. but that's our element. And us being around each other, this is our element. Be around the brothers, man. Don't don't go off into the world and do your own thing, man. And don't hang around niggas. All right? Be around the bro brothers, man. This is your element. Okay? Yeah. We, we are the kingdom. This is just the kingdom, you know, uh, in its beginning stages. But when your Howard Shot comes back, it's going to physically manifest into the kingdom. Come. All right? It's going to be a physical manifestation. All right? But you got the scripture? Uh, real quick. Psalm 72. I'm just going to get the, the last verse the brother put out. Psalm 72 and 9. They that they they that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lift the dust. Which are the other nations. So can you imagine that? And they did that to King Solomon. They bowed before King Solomon. So they're gonna bow to us. They're gonna bow to us. They're gonna bow to our king. You know, what uh King Solomon, not King Solomon, excuse me, Yahushai, which was, you know, King Solomon. But these other nations, they're going to bow to Yahweh Shai. They're going to bow to King David. And they're going to bow to us. Okay? Go ahead, up. All right. The kings of Tarshish and of, and of the Isles shall bring presents. The, king, the kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. Man, and that was a prelude to the kingdom of heaven. The elders spoke on it a, a while back, man. That's a prelude. Or there was a prelude or, or an introduction, yeah. so to speak. Basically, the Lord gave us a little taste 
of what it's gonna be like in the kingdom. A trailer. Yeah, yeah, a trailer. That is a good point, right? It's, until you see the whole movie. You know, hey, this is only the beginning, man. <clears throat> you know, it's only the beginning. So they're gonna be bringing us uh, gifts. You know, uh, the forces of the Gentiles, their wealth, their whatever you name it, they're gonna bring it to us. You know, so but that's the point. All right, and that's a lesson for another time. But we hope you brothers were edified. All right. Is, is there any more scriptures? Uh, that was it. That was it. All right. But with that, you can close this out, yo. And with that, we want to say we want to give our honor and glory to Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Hey, brothers, to the next lesson, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.